Hey, it's Michael, and I just wanted to record a screencast for you to show you um, just my Evernote setup. A lot of you have seen me blog and write about Evernote and how I love it and keep track of it and use it as a digital filing cabinet uh, or whatnot. And so I wanted to just walk, uh, do a screencast and show you how I use it. Uh, I'm on my computer, but I also have Evernote on my phone and uh, on my iPad. And I don't use it on my iPad a lot just because I don't use my iPad a lot. Um, but I use it on my computer and I use it on my phone multiple, multiple, multiple times a day. And it's probably my favorite uh, organizational tool because it allows me to keep track of everything. And so it's a free tool. I actually pay the $5 a month for the, uh, for the premium uh, edition so I can um, save di uh, documents and not just notes uh, and, and uh, has a couple other features. But, but let, me, uh, let me show you how I use it. So I'm going to go down here on, onto Evernote and uh, Here's how I've got it organized. So let me just kind of walk you through it. I've got a few shortcuts right here, but basically Evernote is like a filing cabinet. It's like an old school metal filing cabinet that would have drawers and inside the drawers would be folders and inside the folders would be would be documents or files. And so I've got my shortcuts here, but if I go to all my notebooks, uh, these are all the different notebooks that I've created. And so uh, I've created one called Inbox with the exclamation point. I learned this from Michael Hyatt. Um, and so whenever I put something into Evernote, the default is it goes there. And then periodically I'll go through and I'll move stuff to where it needs to go. Um, so that so the inbox is just kind of, it's like the junk drawer in the kitchen. Everything just goes into there. And then from there you just clean it out every now and then. Okay. Uh, then I've got some different folders. And and, and uh, you, may, you may create all different kinds of folders, but I'll just show you a few that I use. So meeting notes is a folder. Anytime I'm in a meeting, I take... Uh, notes in, a, in, a, in Evernote and I drop it in there. So if I want to go back and say, what do we talk about in that meeting? There's the notes in there. What's also cool is you can take a picture of a whiteboard and drop that into Evernote. And when you search, Evernote will recognize the handwriting. And so meeting notes uh, go in there. Um, writing uh, are completed articles. I actually use Evernote when I write. When I, uh, when I write. So I have a folder called writing ideas. And writing ideas, these are just all the different ideas that I've thought about. Like when I think about something and I want to write something, um, and I just start start an outline here uh, when I, when I write about something. Like here's a here's a blog here's a here's a blog post idea that I want that I thought of one time. You're not as friendly as you think you are for a church. And you know all churches talk about we're really friendly to guests, but I've actually been to some churches who've said that. And it didn't come across that way. And so this is not organized, but it's a note. And so when I go, I want to write a blog post, I usually come in here to my writing ideas, and I've got some things that are already that are already written out, you know, the things you always say. I didn't even write anything there, but I was just thinking uh, one time, and I didn't want to lose the idea. So I was thinking about the things that you always say. You, if you've ever had somebody that's like, my dad used to always say. And the idea that this article would be developed into, it's that the things you say all the time actually help create culture uh, in your family or in your organization. Um, so anyway, that's just some, that's just so, so writing ideas. And then I actually write the blog post and when I'm done writing it, I drop it into the writing folder. And so these are all the completed things that I've written. Um, you know, from whether it's a blog post on a book note or here's something I wrote on the difference between mission and vision. And so uh, seven ways to get more people to come to church. These are completed. This is completed writing things. And so I've got my writing ideas. And then when I'm done, I turn it into um, it goes into the writing folder. Now, you also notice I keep track of other stuff like recipes for my big green egg. I mean, grilled, grilled pear and brie burger. I mean, fajita bobs. Uh, Santa Maria style tri-tip. This is something I'm going to try on the uh, Big Green Egg. Uh, Mexican street corn. Um, that is awesome. I saved that from Joy Phoenix's blog. Um, cured bacon. I actually use this recipe to make my own bacon on the on the green egg. So when I see a recipe, I save it right in here to Evernote. Now, you may not save recipes. That's fine. Um, here's, here's one called uh, Starting Over. This is a book project I'm working on. And so um, anytime I got an idea... And I'm not I'm not high into the writing yet or hard into the writing yet, but it, when I get an idea for that, it goes in there. So if you're a pastor, you may have a sermon series folder. Um, you may have a notebook for a sermon series folder. And anytime you read something that could relate to that sermon series, you drop it in. Now, by far, you see most of the things are, are just in a thing called notes, in a notebook called notes. And this is this is my generic catch-all folder. And I used to get crazy categorizing and tagging all this stuff, but I realized that you could just search stuff pretty easily. And so, um, you know, I just save all kinds of notes. Like here's a blog, you know, here's a little thing I saw one time. Um, here's a, here's a blog article I read from somebody else. Here is a, 
article from uh, the Unstuck Group, my friend Tony Morgan, just a blog post I, that, he, that he saved. Um, here, here's some uh, thoughts from Creativity Inc., great book. Um, here's a blog post with from Tim Ferriss, and I wanted to save this. And so I save everything in notes, and if I want to go search for it, triple your reading, I can go search for it, and there it is. It found it found this. So it's really easy to search inside of Evernote, and that's, that's one of the reasons I love it. And so uh, personal, my wife and I, uh, this is a, a folder um, that we drop everything into that's personal. I mean, so we scan pictures of the kids' stuff that they make at school or bills or different stuff, ideas, different course ideas. Um, you know, uh, another cool thing I, I started doing last year is a swipe file. A swipe file is just any uh, emails that I get or something that I see that somebody's doing that I'm like, hey, that would work really good for our business. And so this is a this is an email that Perry Marshall wrote, and I wanted to save this email um, as an inspirational email for when it was time to, for us to write an email. Um, here is a here is a sales page. This is a website. You can save a whole website, and I love this website. Uh, sales page for this course, and we sell courses, so I wanted to save that. Here is a email uh, from Fizzle that came right after I signed up for a program, and I was like, "Hey, I wanted to save that because I like what they do." Um, w- you know, as a as a follow up. Here is a email from Michael Hyatt about a webinar he was doing, and so we do webinars, and so when I need to go write an email for a webinar, I may go back through my swipe file and look through the couple hundred things I've saved on webinars or emails or just all these different things. And so I use Evernote to keep track of stuff that I want to save. Now, getting stuff into Evernote is so simple. Um, It's so simple, I just, I love it. And so if I'm on a website and I'm on, let's say I'm on ESPN and I'm on a website and I wanted to save something into Evernote that I'm just reading online, Maybe I want to save this whole article. Well, I use Chrome, and up here there's the Evernote Web Clipper. Clipper, And if I want to save this article, all i got to do is click the Evernote Web Clipper, and I want to save the simplified article and hit Save. And that just dropped it into that inbox folder. And it didn't save all these you know, chicken sandwich ads and all that stuff. It just saved the, uh, the ad, and it dropped it into my into my uh, default folder, and it would be there when I put it. Actually, I think that one, I, sa- I saved those to go to notes, uh, directly into notes. But you can drop it into your inbox, uh, your Evernote folder. The other thing that you can do is, let's say I, let's say I want to send an email to somebody, and, uh, okay, here's an, also, here's an email. So let's say I got an email, important information, that is a spam email. But let's say this, we'll go down here to this one uh, from Rebecca. I'm running in a Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon. And let's say I wanted to save this email into Evernote because I wanted to use it as a swipe file. So let's say I want it in my swipe file. So all I do is I forward it. I just forward the email to Evernote because I've got a unique Evernote email address that you can set up. And I send it, and it just forwarded that into Evernote. So once that sends, it gets dropped into my inbox, and it's going to be where I put it in, in, in Evernote. Uh, as soon as it shows up, it just sent. So let me s- stop and start that again. And so um, it'll go into my syncing. So it'll go into my inbox folder. Remember, that was my default, and there it is. So just by setting up that simple email address, I'm able to get stuff in Evernote. And if this was an email that I wanted to save, I would just drag it over here into my swipe file, and boom, it's done. It's over in my swipe file. Also, you can see Evernote has a work chat feature, which is really cool. So my business partners and uh, different people, team members, we do uh, we use Evernote to actually chat work-wise. A lot of people use Slack or different stuff, but we use Evernote to have work chat, which is great because we're able to keep our text message chat. That stays personal, family, what are you doing this weekend, that kind of stuff. Uh, but work chat is, it's a work chat. I mean, it's it's awesome. And Evernote has that built in. So you can share folders. You can drop stuff in here. You can organize it. Again, if you're a pastor, you may have a different notebook for a sermon series you're working on. You may have a folder instead of one called recipes. You may have one for like uh, emails to send the congregation. And so it's a great tool. That's how I'm using it. That's basically how I've, how I've got it set up. I don't bother categorizing and... and, and uh, tagging stuff as much these days because it's so easy to just search to go up here and search for stuff i also have it on my phone and so all of this is synced with my phone so if i'm driving i can record an audio note or make a quick next text note if i'm in a meeting i can do a quick note from there and it'll it'll obviously sync it up so evernote is a great tool i love it and uh, that's that's how i'm using it